Yo, 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 what is up everybody and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay. And man, oh man, I am so tired. It is a little bit after 11 o'clock um, at night. We just got back uh, to Jacksonville from Dallas. It has been a very long weekend full of very little sleep. Uh, uh, we left Friday morning a little after 5 in the morning and we didn't get to Dallas, Texas until close to 6 o'clock. Um, the travel time wasn't quite 12 hours, but you know we made stops and, and whatnot. And we went out to dinner, and we didn't get back in until about 9 o'clock. And I don't know what happened, but I'm pretty sure I was asleep before my head actually hit the pillow. And so I slept from about 9 o'clock to roughly 6-ish the next day, and we got up, went to Frisco, and watched our Jacksonville State Gamecocks take on the North Dakota State Bison in the FCS National Championship and it's funny because you know it's supposed to be warm in Texas and it was a kickoff it was an 11 o'clock central time kickoff and it was it was it was about 39 degrees with a wind chill of, of probably something in the 20s uh, it was definitely the coldest I've been in a long time and I know some of you guys are probably like hey it's you know it's almost 40 degrees you know it's, it's not that cold well when you're from Alabama a 40 degree day is a cold winter day and uh, when we were at the game, I actually looked in, in, and saw what the temperature was in Jacksonville. And it was about 20 degrees warmer. It was, it was in the middle 50s. And I just think it's funny, the, you know, the one time I've ever been to Texas, it was 20 degrees colder than home. You know, usually people go to Texas for warm weather. Um, I just got to miss out on that. And I'm not sure uh, if that's typical, really, but I'm pretty sure it's typically uh, generally warm in Texas. It just happened to be a very, very, very cold day and a very windy day. And unfortunately, Jacksonville State didn't play um, as, as well as they usually can and do. And we weren't able to, to come away with the victory. Um, but second place is not bad. Uh, it was definitely a good season to, to end on. You know, I'm a senior here. And uh, it, it was a good season. And I'm very proud of the guys and, and how they played all season. And, you know, I just couldn't be, you know, happier or, or more proud for them and of them. Um, so it, it was just an awesome experience. Um, you know, they played at Auburn and almost won. Um, so that was that was really cool. And then, you know, they go, go all the way to Frisco um, for a national championship game. So because of them, I was able to go to some states I had never been before, uh, both Louisiana and Texas. I had never been there. Um, so thanks to them, I got to do that. Uh, we spent a lot of time in Dallas after the game. Um, that was really neat. That's hands down the biggest city I've ever been in. Um, just shows you, I mean, I know Dallas is a big city, but you know, I'm 21 years old, and, and before now, the biggest city I've ever been to uh, was probably Atlanta. So that just shows you how, how small of a town I live in and, and how I, I stick around here. But Dallas was awesome. On the way to the game, we actually got to see the Dude Perfect headquarters, which was really cool. We saw the iHeartRadio headquarters. Um, we went to a mall that was four stories and had an ice rink in it, and uh, that's just bizarre to me. Um, you know, it's, it's neat, but you know, here in, in Jacksonville and even Birmingham, um, things aren't that grand. And I guess, I guess everything really is bigger in Texas. But um, I'm just very, very glad to not be in a car. We were in a car about 24 hours this weekend, and it's kind of exhausting. Um, you know, it was neat, you know, definitely driving places I had never been, but it was very, very tiring, and um, the lack of sleep was real, but, um, you know, it was just a great experience, got to experience places I'd never been before, um, we, we were just driving through downtown Dallas, and we um, opened up our Google Maps or our Apple Maps or whatever, and just looked for a, a restaurant close to us um, last night, late at night. Um, you guys will be watching this Monday morning, so Saturday night. It was about 10.30. We were wondering what was open, and we found a restaurant called uh, HG uh, Supply Company, maybe? Something something like that? HG something. Um, and it was actually, the HG stands for Hunted and Gathered, and it's an all-natural place. And, you know, we tried food we'd never had before. Um, you know, and just, we kind of let our, our server tell us what to get and we just went with it and we had it and that's something that was really cool a really neat experience and if you guys ever travel and go somewhere you've never been and you're not familiar with the menu 
get your your server to recommend something and then you know if that's something that would interest you like um you know if it's got beans in it i don't want it or, or a lot of onions i won't want it but you know if, if they recommend something and it doesn't sound like the ingredients are too crazy you know definitely go for it and um you know it i mean it'll be nice like you know you branch out you experience more things better things and it was just really fun and, and just a good experience and i'm definitely glad we went um the trip wasn't all that expensive it was way cheaper than I, you know, ever imagined going to Texas would be for a weekend. Um, so that was always a, that was always a good surprise, and it was just an absolute blast. And Dallas is just a wonderful city, and um, it's really hard not to fall in love with the state of Texas. Like I know I was only there for a few days, but it was definitely, definitely um, an enjoyable, an enjoyable trip, and I'm very glad um, I went. Um, but that was just my little spill on my weekend. If you guys ever want to travel, go for it. Don't be afraid. Don't ever feel too busy. Um, you'll definitely not regret it, and it's, it's definitely worth it. And on the way home today, um, had had the uh, the radio was plugged up through my iPad, and we were listening to the Seattle Seahawks and Minnesota Vikings football game. And for that to have been a game that I only listened to, I'm a big Seahawks fan, uh, if anyone didn't know, but for that to, uh, to be a game that I only listened to, it was so high intensity. Um, I remember as Minnesota was kicking their game-winning field goal, I had my fingers crossed, my eyes closed, my head just kicked back saying, please miss this, please miss this, please miss this. And it was like a 27-yard field goal, and the Vikings kicker missed it. So Seattle was actually able to come away with a 10-9 to victory. They were down 9 to nothing um, in the fourth quarter, and we managed to score 10 points and you know hold off Minnesota after some crucial mistakes by both teams, and it was just... It was a very exciting game. I would have loved to have watched it, but you know, unfortunately, we were on the road. But we got to listen to it, and man, it was it was just absolutely crazy. And tomorrow, um, I'm speaking about Monday. This video is going to go up on Monday morning, but I'm doing the commentary Sunday night. But Monday night, Alabama plays in the national championship game, and you know, I'm a, a lifelong Alabama fan, and I'm definitely hoping they can can pull out a win against Clemson. Um, this year was was awesome for me to be a football fan because Jacksonville State uh, made it all the way to the national championship game. Uh, unfortunately, they, they lost, like I said. Seattle won their wild card game, so now they're just a couple of wins away from a Super Bowl if they can do that. And Alabama is playing in the national championship game. So this, this was almost a year in which my three favorite sports teams won their championships. Unfortunately, Jacksonville State wasn't able to, but I'm still hoping that Seattle and Alabama can. Um, I just think that would be super, super awesome um, for that to happen and, and for me to experience that. Um, it just, I don't know, it, it's just a great time to be a, a sports fan, especially here in Alabama. I know Seattle's pretty far away, but um, I've always been a fan of them ever since I started paying attention to the NFL. Um, so, I'm, you know, I'm just definitely keeping my fingers crossed for that. Last year's Super Bowl definitely was a disappointment for me. And, um, you know, it's, you know it's, it's easy to be a, a couch quarterback and you know, say I could do this, I could do that, or I could call these plays better than you. Um, but you know, it was still just a <clears throat> still just a great year last year, also, because Alabama, Jacksonville State, and the Seahawks all made the playoffs again. But you know, none of them were able to win the championship. Um, but I'm hoping this year we can we can still come away with two out of the three. But that's just my little sports rant and my weekend rant. Um, this video's coming to an end. As you can see, we had a decent game. I think I ended up going 39 and eight, and we win pretty easily. Um, the other team doesn't even score 100 points, so it's kind of, kind of a dominating effort. But I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Um, if you did, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It definitely helps the channel grow out, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.